first thing that we would do is just save this image, right? So we're just gonna save this really fast and we're gonna take it into Dolly here and recreate it, right? So it did a pretty good job of recreating this design. So all we essentially did was take a snippet of growing a tiny human right here and tell it to recreate it and make the design better within Dolly, right? And you can see it did a pretty good job. This one had a spelling mistake again, but this one's pretty good, growing a tiny human in different lettering right there. The M's a little off, but we're just gonna, for the sake of this tutorial, not create it again. If we wanted to re-roll it, we would just say like redo that and it would re-come up with another set of designs for us and then we could pick from that, right? But this one's minimal, so we're just gonna roll with this as an example for this tutorial, right? So the next thing that you'd wanna do is download the actual image right here. But the issue is to actually upload it into Printful or Printify, whichever software you decide to go with that's a print-on-demand company that will handle all the logistics, all the printing on the actual product, whether it's a t-shirt, a coffee mug, or whatever. To actually upload that design there, you need it to be in a transparent PNG format, right? And so this was the next biggest hurdle because you actually had to manually go in yourself and cut it out, or what you had to do is you had to pay somebody to do it for you, and while that's not that expensive, it does add up fast as you increase your designs to scale your store, right? But you don't have to do that anymore either. This right here is a software called Vectorizer. It's incredible. Essentially what it does, to keep it short, is it takes all the colors in the actual image that you give it, separates them, and then allows you to hide certain colors, essentially turning it into a transparent PNG image if you use it correctly, right? So the first thing that we wanna do to be able to use this vectorizer now is we're gonna go back into our downloads, grab that design that it just created us because if we just give it this uploaded t-shirt, it's gonna keep these colors part of the design that we don't really want. So I'm just gonna take a snippet image of this. Oftentimes it'll give you like the straight design and it'll be a lot easier to copy, but no big deal here. We'll just take a snippet image of the design. There we go. And now we upload this into vectorizer and you'll see that it'll start to map out the different colors. And this is an easy design because it's pretty much just black and white with like maybe a little bit of gray in there. But even with colored designs, it makes it super easy because it does the same exact thing for you, essentially just hiding the background color so it pretty much keeps all the other colors intact, turning it into a transparent PNG, right? So the easiest way to do that would be to just either hide one of the colors that's the background. So you could click this one and then hide the white, although there are different shades of white and gray in here. So that makes it a little bit complicated. So the easiest way to do it is just to scroll all the way down to either a black and white, or in this case, one of the ones where the white is definitive and that's the one that you're gonna wanna hide, right? So I'm just gonna take it right to the black and white image because this is pretty much a black and white image already. And then you'll notice that there's two colors over here and you could just hide the white by unclicking it and it will then hide the white and bam, you now have a transparent PNG that you can put on anything, right? So you can just download it. So switch this to PNG and download it and there it goes, right? And now you can see the difference. This image right here is what we started with. We took this as a hot selling design off Etsy. We then used Dolly to recreate the image for us and it then generated us this, very similar, but better in my opinion, with a lot more contrast and a lot more design, but essentially the same thing. So we can still use that SEO, improve upon the design, improve upon the SEO and turn it into a better image entirely and a better product, right? And then what we did is we used the vectorizer to take the background out of this and turn it into a transparent PNG image that we can then take into Printful and upload into anything pretty much, right? So I like Printful better than Printify. You can use Printify or Printful. And these companies make it super easy to actually put these designs on anything. They'll put them on a t-shirt, a sweatshirt, leggings, shoes, you name it, a cup, a mug, it doesn't matter, right? I have other tutorials on how you can actually upload to Printful as well. It's super easy. I will make sure to link one of them at the bottom of the description if you wanna check them out as well. So let me take you through another example really fast just to show you how easy this actually is so let's grab one more shirt from etsy here take a picture of this shirt and then we'll take it into dolly and we'll say recreate this design for a t-shirt but make it better and let dolly go to work and there you go it recreated us a similar design but better it messed up the actual text on this one so we're just going to use this one but again if we didn't like these we wanted to recreate them essentially what we could do is just tell it to redo them and it would create new designs that we can then use so the next thing that we're going to do like i said is download the image that we liked, Fueled by Caffeine and Chaos. I think it's a pretty solid design. Sometimes you'd often pay a graphic designer to, you know, five, 10 bucks to create this design for you. And so now you don't have to because Dolly can do it. You also don't need to actually tell it to recreate or remake other better designs. You can just give it an idea if you wanted to. You could say like, hey, I'm trying to come up with a WWE fan art t 
t-shirt for my Etsy store, give me 10 different examples of designs that I could create. And it would spit you out 10 different examples in text. And then you would tell it, okay, make number one or okay, make one through 10 for me and send them to me. And it would do that, right? So there's really a lot of functionality with this, but I'm just showing you one example of how you could technically use it to recreate hot selling designs that we know are proven on Etsy already, right? This is probably the best way to use it in my opinion, although there are a bunch. So we have that actual image now. Now, essentially what we need to do is we need to go in and we need to take a snippet of this for the sake of saving your time. I'm not gonna take the best snippet of it, but we'll just take the majority of it, save it in here. And now what we do is we take it into Vectorizer again, right? We upload an image into Vectorizer. This is another black and white one, so you're not getting an example of it seeing with colors, but it does the same thing with colors. Just again, if you run into an issue where it's not taking all the colors or there's a bunch of similar colors, just go one up the chain or a few up the chain to where there's less colors that it actually is detecting and it kind of puts them in buckets. So if it's like a pink and a red and an orange, it might make all of those red. And then that makes it really easy to kind of hide certain colors and make the design transparent as a PNG. So for this example, even though it's just kind of black and white with gray in between, you can see all the different shades here of black and gray all the way leading up to white, right? So if we wanted to simplify this a little bit, we might go up to like this one where there's only a few different colors, or if we really wanted to simplify it, we could just turn it black and white with a little bit of gray. So for the sake of this video and not playing around too much, that's what I'll do just to show you an example. But once you play around with a few designs here and there, you'll get much better at this. It's a lot easier than you think, right? So in this case, the background of this image would be black, right? Because then it would turn it into a white text, transparent PNG that we could put on anything that isn't white, right? So you could put it on black, you could put it on red, you could put it on blue. And that's what we're essentially trying to do with print on demand where we're putting it on different things, right? So we're just gonna uncheck the black and you'll see as it removes the black from that image there and turns it into a transparent PNG 